top of the morning to you all, junior class. I hope you had an awesome uh, Easter celebration this past weekend. Uh, the sun is out. I don't know about you, but going out and just seeing all the flowers bloom, um, it it just it reminds me. It's interesting. It's great timing because I love the um, the lesson for today, um, specifically as it relates to change. Um, so I just want to jump right in here. There were three words that I used to discuss um, Buddhism earlier. I want to add a fourth one. For, this fourth one is um, a big part of Buddhism. If you were to ask any Buddhist what what you know what else describes your religion, transformation is definitely one of those words. And um, especially coming to the end of Siddhartha's uh, life, there um, we we saw that he went through a, a major transformation himself. And so it's not that Buddhists just want to identify with Siddhartha Gautama because Siddhartha Gautama went to change, therefore they have to go through change as well. Um, they just find it to be the best possible way to live their life. And because Siddhartha Gautama went through change and there were many positive benefits of going through that change, um, they too, as followers of Siddhartha, want to go through that change themselves. So transformation, the teachings left behind by Siddhartha himself, mainly the teachings on the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, those teachings themselves um, uh, pr produce this change within you, if you so choose to follow them as a disciple of Siddhartha Gautama. And, you know, it, uh, it, it would take a long time to teach through um, in depth. Again, this is just a survey course. Um, um, it's just a survey course to skim over some of the major details, but for example, uh, some of these Buddhist teachers, um, even the Dalai Lama himself, would spend about six hours teaching on the Four Noble Truths. And um, so if you want to deep dive into that, you can definitely go on a YouTube search and find um, his, his teachings there. They've uh, been uploaded for a while, and he has a whole website on them too. So, um, but suffice it to say, uh, the, the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path are, are the um, means by which they go through this transformation. Um, so that said, I, before we, we talk about um, the end result of that transformation from a Buddhist's perspective, I want to have you guys watch this short film. And I, I have my students watch this every single year because it does a good job of kind of showing um, what I would say both Buddhists and Christians believe in terms of transformation. Um, and so I think this video highlights some wonderful themes of transformation in general. It's called the Butterfly Circus. And so just go ahead and click um, on the link provided. I'll, I'll post that on Google Classroom. And without the credits rolling, um, it's about a 20 minute short film. It's actually a really good film. Um, so bring a tissue box every, every single year I watch this movie. I, I just shed some tears and I know that's because I got a soft heart um, in me. And so I just, I begin to weep over some of the themes that this movie um, uh, brings up. They're very, very powerful themes. And so um, I, I hope it's a blessing to you as, as I'm trying to set the stage of what is transformation from a Christian point of view and what are some themes that Buddhists would also believe in as it relates to their view of transformation as well. Okay. Okay. So in our school, Westside Christian has this in its, um, and its mission statement, even inspiring godly transformation. And that's one of the goals of Westside Christian is to inspire, inspire change. It's not something anybody can make happen. It's not something that you, you don't put, go through a conveyor belt and all of a sudden at the end from freshman to senior year, you are now a godly person. It's not necessarily how it works. And you know that to be true because you are a free agent. You get to make your own choices. And, and so, I want to make sure that I continue to communicate that to you, that it's not this um, overbearing manipulation forced or anything like that on you guys. I hope it doesn't feel like that. If it does, or if it ever feels like that, just talk to me, please. Open conversation always about that. Um, but really, I, I hope that this video does a good job of inspiring some of that godly transformation even in your own life. I know for me personally, even as a teacher going through this, like I watch this video and I'm like, I'm inspired all the more to go through this process of transformation. Um, 
And again, Buddhists have their variation and their spin on what is godly transformation, or what is, pardon me, what is transformation from their own point of view. And we'll circle back to that to kind of put the pieces together as we do this comparison and analysis of world religions to Christianity. Okay, so after the movie, so here is your, this is what to do, kind of the evidence, the assignment. After you take notes on the movie, you're gonna take notes on the big ideas and you're going to scribble those down and there's going to be a place for you to turn that in. So I know you've processed those big ideas and truly spend time watching this. It, it really is a gem of a movie. Invite your parents to watch this with you. If you have a sibling, younger or older that, that's with you, invite them to watch it. Um, if some of you have older siblings that have already gone through my course, say, hey, remember this uh, butterfly circus? Watch it with them. Um, remind them of the transformation process of Christianity um, as well. So watch it with someone else. I mean, it really is a good little um, short film. Um, the main actor, by the way, we do have a West Side Connection. He was a chapel speaker here years ago, before my time. Um, but he's an inspirational speaker worldwide, and he was a chapel speaker at West Side once upon a time. It'd be so cool if we got him to come back as a chapel speaker. Um, okay, so what I want you to do after you've taken, after you've watched the movie, after you've taken notes, I want you to go for a walk in your neighborhood. Um, and this should take about 10 to 15 minutes or, or spend time in your backyard if your parents don't want you to go out into the neighborhood or anything like that. So I don't want to break any um, isolation boundaries that you have set up as a family. So if a neighborhood walk doesn't work, go into your backyard and spend time there. Um, and then find three things that go through the process of change. Okay, so obviously the butterfly circus is going to um, introduce the, the theme of uh, transformation and going through this major process of change. Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to make your own attachments to the themes in the story um, of this film. And I want you to, to write those down. Okay, what are three things that go through the process of change? You, you find those three things. Um, take a photo of each thing you find, okay? And, and then uh, um, after you have that photo, I want you to upload it on the Google Doc and you're gonna turn that in. But before you do, I want you to spend a little bit of time thinking about what you took a photo of. So in three to five sentences, write about the thing that goes through change. Write about it. Just what, what is it that goes through change? How does it go through change? Is there anything you can apply to your own life from nature's lesson on change? So that's the big idea there. And then once you um, have that, you've gone, you've watched the film, you've taken the notes of the film, you've gone on a walk, you've cataloged and um, written about the things that go through the process of change, bring it all together. What, is it, what does that mean for you um, as a follower of Christ? How, how, how does, it, even in nature, um, how does God communicate the story of transformation as change as these either subtle reminders, if we're looking for it for an assignment for Mr. Flores' class, or these great reminders that God has just left behind as breadcrumbs, as this, these, this evidence um, that we are able to go through this process of change. So I want you to bring it all together in your mind, think about it, and just respond, reflect on it. Um, this is kind of an open-ended reflection. What, what does all of that mean for you? What, what did you take away from the movie that was important or significant? What did you take away from um, the walk that you went on and nature's lesson on change? And, and what does that mean for you right where you're at as a junior this year at Westside Christian High School? Is, has there been a process of change that you two have gone through? Um, and if there hasn't been a process of change, what do, you, what do you think it is that's holding you back from going through the process of change? Focus on that a little bit and maybe spend some time reflecting on that. This is again, open-ended. It's your own personal reflection. Go as deep as you want. You're never gonna get a Mr. Flores judgment comment like, oh my gosh, this person's stuck and they're not changing, uh-oh. I mean, that'd be horrible um, from, from my point of view. Nor is this, I'm gonna try to pull the carpet out from under you to try to um, really either go show Mr. Wayne or look, we found somebody who doesn't really believe. No, none of that. Like there's, it's totally a free space for you to be open about what you're going through as a person because you're a person and you have your own thoughts, you have your own beliefs and your own opinions and no one should ever have the right to, to manipulate that in, in any way or force belief upon you. It's only something that we can inspire and pray for you on, 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 on your behalf before God. So um, if you have any questions about that, please come see me. 
Um, I, today I'll set up some time during the day for you to come uh, kind of jump in on a Zoom meeting if you would like. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a wonderful time with this um, lesson and this activity and this video for the, day, uh, for the day. May God bless you and keep you safe. Love you guys and miss you.